My name is Stephen Eugene Embers. I am riding the train to adulthood at a ripe 18 years young, and I hail from Coronado Island in San Diego, California. There's this girl, a uh, woman, whatever. Her name is Mary Shelley Black. Yeah, like the writer. She's from up north in Portland. Family tale was a bit of a downer. You see, uh, her father got caught in a slammer for being a conscientious in the Great War. That means conscientious objector. And her mother, unfortunately, passed away in childbirth. So uh, now she bunks with her Aunt Eva. And the two of them are heading down to our neck of the woods to spend time with us. Um, us being me, my mother, my sister-in-law, and, unfortunately, my older brother, Julius. Julius Embers. That guy's got a few screws loose up here, you know. He, uh, bit of a heavy set fellow, kind of a lunker, you know. Believes in all sorts of weird matter about spiritualism and the occult. Thinks people can shoot the breeze from the other side, you know. Talk from the afterlife. Now, I have my own beliefs, of course, but they're more rooted in science. I'm a photographer, like Mary. Um, we, uh, we met when we were both in uh, junior high, high school, around that age. People used to give her all sorts of grief back then. Used to call her Frankenstein, how original, because Mary Shelley, haha. -ha. Used to tease her about being a brainy girl who was into science and literature rather than playing the field by putting out for men and popping out babies like clockwork every ten months. Yeah, we, uh, we've been pen pals ever since. We write letters occasionally, and believe you me, there's some stuff in those letters that uh, I'd rather my mother not read. Let's just say they're uh, real romantic. Um, here's a twist. I enlisted. I signed up. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be giving the Brits the cold shoulder, independence, and all that. And also, you know, French. We don't like the French. But, uh, damn, I hate those crowds. And also, the French. I mean, no French fruity frog is going to tell me how to live my life. Not on my dime. They think they can get away with Franz Ferdinand being murdered and not have U.S. intervention? Not on my watch. Uncle Sam, he's, uh, he's always watching. Um, I just gotta figure out how to tell Shell. To think we haven't seen each other physically in person in five years. Last time we talked was 1913. And uh, when we eventually meet back up, you know, I'm, I'm gone. I'm off. Kaput. Vanishing act. We may never see each other again. And I don't mean a simple separation. I mean we may never see each other again. Hopefully she uh, can keep Julius from thumping her skull full of all that humbug about spiritualism. I've heard some weird things happen to people when they die. So my fellow enlistees yak about uh, seeing the world from above. People reportedly talk about blackbirds pecking out their eyeballs. Personally, I just think that's propaganda, trying to get people to sign up, trying to get people a soldier's heart. They have a fancy term for that now. What's it called? Uh, shell shock. Yeah. Anyway... Mary and Eva are uh, due to arrive any minute. I got some artwork that uh, and some paintings I got to give to Mary. You know, photographs and whatnot. As 
keepsakes in case I pass over to friends because I've got to prepare myself for the possibility. Thank you.